Hi Josh, we're jumping back into some more Surviving Mars, Season 2. Let's go! I, I know I'm low on food. Oh my god, are we low on food. Oh my god, we're so low on food! Oh shit. Guys, come on, why aren't you producing food? Oh god, we've got... Yeah, I, I really need you to, to load up the rare metals. Please. Please. Because I, I need... Oh my god, people are going to start starving! Please produce food! Okay, that might produce food in just a minute. Oh, oh, food just went up a little bit. Like, not enough, though. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Just one more, one more. One more and you can go. Load up. There you go, okay, go. <laughs> Fuck you! Fucking meteor? Hey, polymer. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll take that, thanks. They're already racing out to get it. <laughs> good, good kids. You're good drones. My good sweet drone babies. Okay, so we've got a school. We've got some kids in it. That's excellent. All right, this is, this is, I think, yeah, we, we've been producing. Oh, shit. Food production. Fuck yeah. Okay, uh, well, the, the new passengers are here. Uh, I want them to go into this dome. That's not ideal because, you know, they're going to eat up all the food. But actually, oh, fuck. Actually, they brought some food with them, which is good. Uh, do not go gentle into that good night. We lost a founder. Uh, due to old age. Whew, that's a good thing. Old age is good. Old age is good. That means that we didn't lose prospective recruits. 100 colonists, 1,000 science. Fuck, yeah. We finished the Mars crowdfunding. We got a billion dollars, and we got a good chunk of the way through the cipher. That's excellent. Look at that money. We've got a billion dollars, and we're going to have another billion once this rocket gets back to Earth. Look at travel into Earth with 30 rare metals. Worth 35 million each. That's fucking fantastic. Okay, we got scientists. Yes, we do. Uh, wait, we've got seven, we got nine scientists though, right? So, um, let's, let's turn on a second work shift. I believe we brought nine scientists in. Um, hello? Nine, nine scientists? No, you guys, why are you in this? Okay, you, go live there. Scientist, go live there. Scientist, Jesus, I can't believe I have to do this. Really? New anomalies? Hell yes. Okay, you, research that and that. Thank you. Let me finish moving all the fucking scientists over to the other building. Like, I understand you didn't want to live in a building with a bunch of kids. You know, they're noisy and they're needy. God damn. But, like, that's where your work is, you know? Okay, all nine of the scientists now live in that building. Are they all employed here? Yes, good. New techs available for research, drone printing, and nuclear fusion? Whoa, fusion reactor? I mean, it does require employees. It requires workers. But god damn, that would be so helpful. Nuclear fusion? Man, this would this would produce power for us. That would be so good. Oh, colonists without the proper specialization suffer a lower work penalty. That would help with all the non-specialized people we've got. And there's the drone printing. Drone assembler. Oh man, that's that would be nice. We could just build more drones. Super handy. Uh, I would love to be able to build our own machines parts factory, but right now we... Oh, we are not full. Well, all right then. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, we do still have uh, some power issues, which is not ideal. But thats it's a nighttime thing. During the day, we're looking pretty good. And I think we are filling up our, our storage. Uh, let me look at the research and see how we're actually looking. Research buildings, 590. Holy shit. 
We have 150 from a genius colonist, which is one of the scientists that we just brought in. So we just gained 740 science per solve. We only had 300 before. We're going to fly through research now. This is great. And I think that's all the research we're ever going to need. Everybody lives in this one building except for this one little kid. Why are you living alone? Hey, why don't you go away? We're going to get rid of this. Oh, are you ready to go? And you've got more fucking rare metals? Or Yeah, yeah, rare metals. That's what I'm looking for. Well, that's great. We're going to make even more money. We can afford to get rid of those rare metals. Yes, please, go. Go ahead. Go back to Earth. Give us another billion dollars. Hey, we just gained more research from the other anomaly. That's fantastic. All right. Listen, I think things might be starting to turn around. It, with the exception of the food, of which there is still not enough, um, let's, let's call a rocket right now. And we're just going to fucking load it up with food. Uh, we are going to take some more of this stuff, too. Okay, 80 food should be plenty. And we are going to bring more of each of these. Just to be on the safe side. Because I would really rather not run out again. Alright, but for now... Polymers production, 4. Polymers maintenance, 1.3. That means we're actually building up a stock of polymers. Production 2... Maintenance 2.5. We need to build another machine parts factory. Production 2, maintenance 1.2. So in theory, we should be building up a stock of that as well. That's fantastic. Now, we do need more farms. Uh, but but we, need to, we need to build another apartment building in here. Get more people. And maybe we can make some fungal farms out here. Let's, let's think about that. Let's build ourselves another apartment here. How are we looking on botanists? I don't think we really have any botanists here, do we? No, we do not. That's not ideal. But we do have five botanists working in these two buildings. Bam, just made over a billion dollars on our rare metals. It's a map for the treasure hunt. A new planetary anomaly has been discovered. X marks the spot. Send an expedition to the coordinates. Oh, we'll be doing that because our food ship just got here. All right, we're still not producing enough food, but now we have a good stock of it. So I think uh, what we should do is maybe we should uh, maybe we should build another uh, another farm, maybe uh, bring in some more botanists. So neither of these buildings is full, uh, so I do not need to build another one. But uh, you know, both of these farms are going pretty strong. This dome's definitely not full, so we could absolutely bring more people in here as well. Our research is just flying right along. Now that we've got all these scientists in here, holy shit, we are flying. What else is available to us now? We just finished something, and it unlocked Martian patents. Licensed Martian technology, it's repeatable. Okay, so we could use that to make money if we get really, really, really desperate. But it's a very expensive tech, so it seems like a real waste. Uh, I think that I would like for our storage capacity for water, oxygen, and power to be increased. I think we're going to do that. And then after that, we might do the uh, wa water and oxygen tanks. But uh, we'll see. we'll see where we sit after we get some more research done. All right, we need to investigate this expedition. X marks the spot. Three of any people and an RC transport for an unknown outcome. I really like that option. We're going to try that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's send it. Uh, how was how was the transport looking? Did it have... It has a bunch of stuff in it. Um, I mean, I, I, I'd really like for, for my transport to dump all the stuff first. But then, then you can have it. Then you can have it ship. Oh, and they have to unload all the rare metals before it can go, don't they? And all the food. Yeah, that makes sense. All right, it gives the transport time to unload its goods. You know what's really nice? It's really nice to make it through a night not wondering if my people are going to survive or freeze to death. That's a good feeling. <laughs> I am so relieved by that. Uh, I'm not taking anything for granted at this point. I'm still a little nervous, but uh, you know, 
know, so far, so far we seem to have gotten a slightly better grasp of, of what's going on here. Um, although there's nobody working in this farm, so, um, I think I'm gonna take one farmer from somewhere. Wait, did you... My tre my, my attention is required. The visual telemetry shows a distinct cubicle shape not far from the landing zone. Interesting. It becomes apparent that the cube is made of Martian concrete. Hey, that's kind of cool. No doors or any other protrusions, but after circling around, the expedition discovers a distinct red circular shape that suspiciously looks like a big red button. Press the button! The walls of the building sink down. That's weird. To reveal a large metal container wrapped with colorful paper and red ribbons. Are you kidding me? They left us a present. Tons of advanced resources ready for use just laying there. Oh my god, I love you so much right now! Oh my god, that's so big. That's so big for us. Um, I need I need somebody, anybody, to, to go work there. Okay? I'm pretty sure this expedition took one of my farmers with it, which is kind of fucked up. Like, you couldn't take an unspecialized person out of the diner where four people work? Fucking ridiculous. Wait, do I have a medical? Did I not build a medical building in here? I don't think I built a medical building in here. Well, that's not cool. Yeah, I totally forgot to build an infirmary. Oops. Well, let's let's do that. Um, because you know, people get sick, and they gotta see the doctor. Kind of important. And also, it would be really nice to give them, you know, some comforts or something. Uh, I think I'm. I think I'm also gonna build a, a playground for the kids. Bring the rocket back. And what? What's the last thing we can build over here? Can we build a like a university? We can't. We can't even research the universe. We can't even do the university yet because we haven't researched it. Uh, we could build a uni uh, a nursery for the sweet little babies. Uh, I think that's probably it's probably a good idea to do that. Let's let's go ahead and do that because there are little kids somewhere. Oh yeah, there's. There's a few little kids, um, and there's probably some over here, too. Yeah, there's there's at least a few. All right. All right. Oh, I, I need my transport to go find more metal for me, because we're real low. We're real low on metal, guys. It's not a good feeling. Oh, a new anomaly. Go explore that, little guy. Hell yeah. We're making pretty solid progress on exploring this map. I do want to fill out all of this area and and all of this area before we move on to this area. So uh, you know, we'll we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh is this because oh you're waiting for waste rock. Okay. I feel like maybe we need to generate a little bit more waste rock. <laughs> I can't believe that's the point we've gotten to. We're actually using all of our waste rock. Research complete utility crops. That's fantastic. Oh, shit. We can build the medical center? Ooh. It's it's expensive. But uh it it will it would really help people. We might consider that. Uh and the drone battery increased by 50%. That's a pretty big deal too. You know, I think it's probably a good idea to build the Martian University in at least one or two domes, you know, so that we can train people and uh, and they can learn jobs, because otherwise everybody born on the planet is just going to be unspecialized and everything's going to fall apart. Uh, speaking of uh, people who are unspecialized, we should probably also get this. <laughs> okay, let's do a quick check on everything. How's our power looking? Ooh, power storage is full. That's fantastic. And holy shit, we're checking in on this at the perfect time because it just became night. Uh, we are losing a solid amount of power. Thank you, autosave. That was really inconvenient. I was in the middle of something here. Uh, we are losing a solid amount of power, but it doesn't look like it's going to kill us overnight. That's great. Uh, we look pretty solid on oxygen and water. Thank God. Uh, we're still we're still a little rough on uh, on the metals. We still need to produce more metals. We're fine on concrete. Uh, we're we're not good on food. We're pretty great on rare metals. 
And I don't know why we're not consuming any. This should be consuming. Oh, because we were looking at it at the wrong time of day, apparently. Um, let's see. Uh, I hate, I hate that I can't tell because it's not the right time of day. Like this. Production predicted one. That's good information to know. So we're not producing as many polymers as we need to be. Uh, machine parts. Production predicted four. This tells me three. What the fuck? Production predicted 2.3. Production predicted 2. Okay. So, hopefully... What the fuck? Mysterious mirages. Remaining duration unknown. Inner like the advent. Wait, is this our... Is this our, like, big deal for the gameplay? Because remember, we set it to random. And then you hear the voices? That's not concerning? Come on. Yeah, what just happened is a damn good question. Um, I can't clear this, so it must be, uh, wow, this is a little fucky. Uh, not sure how I feel about this. Saul 71, you've witnessed a bizarre hallucination with no logical explanation. Okay, great. Thanks, Mystery Log. Can you get off my screen now? I would like it if you were not taking up valuable real estate. Okay. Uh, do we need do we need to go on any other expeditions? We could send seven geologists that we don't have to do research progress. Okay, well I don't think that's gonna help us much. Uh, I don't want meteors because that's scary. Uh, I don't feel like spending that kind of resources. Well then, I think we're just gonna send this rocket home, and we're gonna bring back more food. Okay, yeah, seriously, we we need we need more food. Oh, shit's turned in green now. Um, well, that's somewhat unsettling. I don't, I don't super love this. This is, this is real funky. Um, but seriously, this is really messing with me. Everything's changing, and I, it's really hard to see shit. Not a huge fan. Um, so maybe, maybe let's just let shit sit, and uh, uh, we'll fast forward through this. Oh wait. Apparently, there's no need to fast forward through it. Things are returning to almost normal. Yo, live from Mars! Where was that? Oh, that was this one. More applicants! Yes! And what's this? Security officers and medics have better performance? I don't feel like we really, really, really need that right now. Um, I think we're gonna do that because we need our new kids to, to be better than us. New building storages. Ooh, I do like storages. I'm a big fan of storages, but they do require power, which is weird. Um, maybe, maybe we upgrade our factories? Yes, I think we upgrade our factories for sure. Um, in fact, let's move that up above Martian Board Adaptability. Um, and, and let's move it above General Training, and let's move it above Martian Education. But we're going to leave storage compression at the top, um, and then we'll do factory amplification after that. Because that will require more power, which means we need to build more power things. Um, and let's see, these require machine parts, which we are not quite building enough of. Alright, we're doing a thing here. I've just activated third shift over here, and we're deleting this one. I need to build a school for all these little kids. Please, oh no, the school, the school is, the school is too big. Nope, nope. Nope, you're gonna need all of the things now. Nope, never mind. Let's let's get rid of it. I I need to put something in there. That's we we've, we've got to do something here, uh, other than research because we can put all nine people in here and they will get us all of the research, right? Actually, I feel like that's more, almost, isn't it? That's over nine hundred at this point. Uh, <laughs> I feel like it went up from destroying one of the research buildings. What the hell? But no, seriously, there's so many little kids here, and we, we've got to have a school. Tell you what, can we make kids move? Uh, we sure can. Well, we're going to put all these kids over here so that they go to school. I think it's a little weird that, that you can just, you know, tell a kid to, to move. All right, I think all the children have moved. I'm not positive about that. Oh, hello. Payload, 10 drones and 100 food. Uh, yeah, let's, let's just put you down, let's put you down over here. 
Uh, we got rare metals money. Rumor, Space Y will scan a planetary anomaly in three cells, 20 hours. That's good to know. We found more planetary anomalies. Uh, five any people for research progress. That's great. Three drones for research project. That's also super great. And an RC Explorer for a breakthrough. Oh, fuck yeah. We're going to do that. There aren't any available rockets to send on a trade or scientific expedition. You'll need a rocket landed on Mars, but I have. Okay, okay. Apparently it had not registered that it had landed yet. Okay. So I'm going to send you on the RC Explorer breakthrough. Yes, refueling. Yes, you have to refuel first. All right, everybody get everything out of there. There's a hundred food waiting to be offloaded. Oh, God, the colors are still fucked. Come on! This is the worst, you know? Uh, you just have a bunch of fucking concrete in your inventory. I'd really like for you to unload that somewhere. Inner light wake-up call. View message, please. I'm not the only one seeing this odd mirage. That's, I guess, a bit of a relief. Well, that's, that's actually not great. Now it's affecting the entire fucking colony. Maybe I was just a crazy person. That would have been nice. This mystery is only getting deeper. You're goddamn right. Um, it, okay, colors seem normal right now. Everything seems fine. Don't change again. Please, please don't change again. Please just, just remain normal. All right, there goes the rocket off on our expedition. Yes, give me a breakthrough, please. I'm, I'm exploring the, the possibility of expanding again because we do still have a drone hub ready to be built. I'm just trying to figure out what I want to do with that. Um, I don't know if we want to go up or, or down. I'm just kind of looking around trying to figure that out. Um, I, would, I would like to get some more um, uh, maybe machine parts construction going or something. Uh, we seem to be holding relatively steady on everything but food, which is a little frustrating because now we've got three full-size farms here. Planetary anomaly analyzed, breakthrough discovered, hull polarization, buildings require maintenance less often. Fuck yeah, that's amazing. Let's do that. Let's let's get rid of um, general training. How about how about that? And we'll add hull polarization, which is absolutely a star trek reference right i don't i don't know for i i can't guarantee that it's a star trek reference but it sure does sound like one uh it sounds like something from from star trek enterprise because they had to polarize the hull instead of raising shields because it happened in the past and they had to make it sound more primitive i don't know man why is there no fucking food over here that's infuriating like, there's enough food to go around now, and it's all fucking hoarded over here on this end. Oh, shit. Are you already back? Yeah, you are. All right. Well, then you can you can land. Storage compression is complete. Yay! All right. Well, then we can we can add the other thing back in. The, uh... Which one was it? Generalize. Generalization. General training. General... Kenobi? <laughs> Just fucking spit it out. It was like, bleh. <laughs> oh, that was fucking funny. Uh, let's investigate this again. You, seven geologists, no. You, five people. Uh, not yet. You, three, wait, 12 hours, 12 hours. Yep, let's let's just send the drones first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After you refuel. I'd, I'd really like more food, please. Um, you know what? Maybe, maybe we build a, uh, a hydroponic farm here. That that seems like a decent idea. We'll build a hydroponic farm and then we'll like we'll force some unspecialized people to work in it or something. You mean we're low on metal? What? what kind of horse shit is this? It's entirely likely that that we're completely out of metal. But like you know we're making some. I don't see why you can't just like I don't know make more. Martian education complete. Gained four thousand. Holy shit! That's great. That's fantastic. Now we have two empty slots that we gotta fill. Smart homes, what? And hotel? Oh, that's for tourists and colonists? What? VR workshop, oh shit. And the Hawking Institute generates research faster than a research lab. Well, 
That's not super helpful. We don't really have room for that, and we have all of the science we need right here. <laughs> oh, awesome. I was wondering why our, our botanists were slowly disappearing and being replaced with non-specialized people in the farms. It's because they're all retiring. I need these kids to learn how to be fucking botanists or something. This is, this is not great. In fact, this is infuriating. Oh shit, we found new anomalies? Okay guys, we really need to be making more food. Like, we're so close. We're so close. Can we just make more food, please? Please? All right, you, you gotta go on another expedition. You gotta, not that one. There it is, five people. Send five people to, to go get us something. I, I have already forgotten what that said. But, you know, go do it anyway. And then you can go home. And then I think we might have to, I don't know, either build another dome or, or call for more colonists or something. We, I, you know what? We can call for more colonists because we've got so much extra room here. Man, the people in this dome just keep making more kids. And I keep sending them away. <laughs> That's pretty messed up, if you ask me. But hey, that's that's where the school is, so... Mm, got a deal, you know? Oh, look at all these little shits playing on the playground. Hell yeah. Wait, it's almost like they're segregating themselves by age. That's so weird. Yo, 3,000 more? That's fucking great. New techs are available for research. That's a lot of new techs. Oh, shit. This is great. Uh, let's see. Vegetation grows faster. That'll be good once we get around to terraforming. Farms increase the comfort of all residences in the dome. Yes, please, right now. Residences in basic domes, microdomes, and barrel domes have improved comfort. Yes, please, right fucking now. Passenger Rockies, rockets carry 10 more colonists. I like that. Let's do that. Sanatorium treats colonists to remove flaws. I also love this. I, I, I love less that they used a Ronald Reagan quote, uh, but, you know... The sanatorium is pretty cool as far as spires go. I don't know which spire I prefer, though. Like, we don't need water reclamation. We can just build a medical, you know, a, a normal infirmary instead of a medical center. And, like, I don't know, the sanatorium's cool, but I don't feel like it's, like, super, super necessary. I would love the, uh, the farm one, but I don't know where that is. I don't, I don't suppose we can... Water reclamation, behavioral shaping, and microgravity medicine. Yeah, no, none of those. Japan, fuck off. Get the fuck out of here with your shitty trades. You want to trade concrete for polymers? No, I fucking do not. All right, buddy, that'll be enough for today. Catch the next episode in two weeks. I'll talk to you soon, brother. I miss you.